Hi, right now I'm going to talk about the pH sense of earlier I told you about the pH uh, conventional pH meter in this talk I'm going to talk about the pH sensor okay so this pH sensor of course it is based on potentiometric filtration and um, but instead of uh, conventional pH probe here we are going to use a transistor that is MOSFET metal oxide MOSFET or metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor its architecture will be like this yeah field type field type silicon is heavily doped region to extreme ends are heavily doped it means more negatively charged carriers will be available and there will be an insulating layer region SiO2 which is having high dielectric constant and also a yeah, metallic layer this metallic layer So it is a general structure of MOSFET and its uh, wirings will be like this positive terminal, negative terminal Yeah, this region, heavily doped region, is said to be gate. Sorry. Source region, and this one. Heavily doped region is said to be drain, and it is technically said to be gate region. So this what potential difference between gate region and source is named as V suffix. Get source VGS and current flowing through it will be I suffix GS. Similarly, potential difference between source, a drain, and the source is said to be DS and the current flow is said to be DS. V suffix yes. So this is the general schematic uh, diagram of uh, MOSFET. So when uh, actually a potential barrier will be developed uh, between this heavily doped region So this potential barrier is said to be depletion region which separates these two heavily doped regions. So beginning there will not be any current flow between source to drain okay because the channel is blocked by, by the depletion region. So in order to overcome the depletion region or weak the depletion region you need to give uh, potential V suffix GS. So by gradually increasing 
potential between uh, get to source this channel that is uh, depletion region width will be decreasing and finally it will be pinches of and so maximum current flows between source to tray so this is the basic of uh, MOSFET and uh, here in the case of PH sensor this device is, is going to use it is the heart of the pH sensor so here instead of uh, MOS metal oxide semiconductor you will use another term ion selective layer ion selective effect so here ion selective layer is re it replaces metal oxide semiconductor layer so what is the role of ion selective layer or ion selective glass it is made up of uh, fused, fused quartz okay so what is its role so it is having ion selective layer will be having nanopores and these nanopores easily permeable to H plus ions hydrogen ions okay So your pH probe will be like this. <coughs> pH probe and your transistor port will be here. Ion selective effect. And it is connected to going to divide the probe into three regions one is sensor port another one is it converts voltage to and another one is pH display this is pH display converter so this sensing uh, electron sensitive electron port it uh, Compresses all units. There is amplifier unit, digital to analog converter, and uh, voltage to pH converter. Display every all units are involved in it. Okay, so so to know working of uh, pH sensor. Let us divide the into some cases. In one first case, you are not going to add any any of your sample. Okay, you just keep your uh, pH sensor as it is. And now let us see how to understand its working. So you have not added anything. Okay, any of your sample here. So now, what is the value? It, it will imagine that it will not be, be display any value. Okay, it will not display any value or some zero. Zero. This is because when uh, so to make you understand again, I am going to draw this uh, MOSFET structure. heavily doped region 
n plus n plus so source and drain this p type si or slick and of course you will have siO2 or slick and dioxide which is insulating and on which uh, I am selective layer. I am selective layer. So in the first case, you have not added anything here. So there is no, uh, there is a depletion region. This depletion region prevents any charge carriers to flow from this region to this region. So finally. Drain to source current voltage will be zero, and drain to source current will also be zero. Okay, so this zero final outputs will be zero, so your display will also be zero. So you see now, you are going to add few drops of uh, any base like NA over H or K over H. Since uh, H plus ion concentration in K over H is zero or very, very small, mm -hmm. you just assume that may be few H plus ions and these H plus ions from any of its solution pass are permeable through this uh, ion selective layer and when it uh, passes through the ion selective layer it polarizes SiO2 and subsequently it slightly opens or it uh, disturbs depletion regions and it slightly opens the depletion region so there will be minimum current flows between source to drain flows source to drain okay So V suffix ds and I suffix ds will not be zero. It will show some values or minimum values. And so this minimum value will be calibrated as pH. Uh, calibrated in negative pH. is uh, thirteen. Your pH value will be thirteen. It will be this minimum voltage, non-zero VDS and non-zero ED. Drain uh, to source current will be calibrated as thirteen. Now it is said to be a base region. It corresponds to base region. Case uh, 3. Now you are going to use H2O. Instead of NUH, now you are going to drop few drops of H2O. Since uh, H2O favorably contains some more H plus ions. Okay, just for your understanding, I am telling you, okay, H plus ion. So imagine more H plus ions are there. And uh, when more H plus ions are permeable through the semiconductor in your brain,
more number of H electrons passed between source to drain. Okay. So correspondingly, these values, that is uh, source to drain or source to drain current and voltage will be increasing. starts to increase. Now this stage, at this stage, the value of pH is calibrated as 7. Now it is said to be neutral region. Neutral. In case 4, you are going to imagine you are going to add HCl at here. Okay? When HCl is few drops of HCl is placed here, um, more number of uh, probably more number of H plus ions will be there. Since more number of X plus ions are there, more polarization takes place and so more current between source to drain takes place. It means the depletion region is completely pinches off and more current flows. So the values of source to drain voltage and the source to drain current will be very much greater than zero. So very, uh, or sometimes current may be saturated. So in this case, it is this extreme condition is said to be uh, a P corresponds to a pH of one. So pH of one means is calibrated as pH value of one means it is in acidic region. I am only talking about the extreme conditions, okay, just for your understanding, to make you understand, I am telling extreme cases, base, neutral, acidic, okay, by using some standard uh, refer, uh, base examples for base H2O and HCO. For your specific samples, it will give different values. And then you need to calibrate, okay? That is most important. So this is all about the working of a pH sensor based on a, or smart pH sensor based on a transistor that is MOSFET. So it is like a, it is, you can also name it as a discrete uh, Discrete heat tank. And it can be integrated since it is a MOSFET based device, it can be integrated with any or uh, inter integrated with any other uh, chemical sensor like a pesticide sensor. Okay? or uh, sodium, Na plus sensor, Na plus sensor, ionic sensors. So an array of uh, discrete heat tank can be fabricated. This array of discrete uh, heat tank is said to be a uh, heat tank or electronic, and um, commercially it is said to be electronic tank. This means it can be integrated or it can be made as an array with other uh, ionic as well as uh, pesticide sensors or chemical sensors in order to use it as a commercially use it as a heat, heat tongue. Okay. So this is all about uh, potentiometric sensor and uh, our pH uh, sensor. 
So we will meet in the next class. Thank you.